Hello everybody, and today we're going to be checking out this flappy little keyboard. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Check This Out and today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Microsoft Universal Foldable Keyboard. It is just like any other Bluetooth keyboard but it has quite a twist. And the twist is, it doesn't twist, it folds. Ha ha ha. This is a very impressive keyboard. It only comes in one colour however. This particular shade of grey with Microsoft logo in front, nothing much on the back. It is spill resistant, not sure if that's Microsoft implying you to spray paint whatever colour you like onto it. Don't spray paint this keyboard, just don't. It has this sort of soft rubbery matte finish, so it doesn't feel plasticky at all. It does not have a power button because it powers on the moment you flip it open and it powers off when you close it. Very smart. The flap is also magnetized so it won't accidentally flip open. You have to actually pry it open for it to open and when you close it, it's a very satisfying pop. This is a very small keyboard. It's almost pocket size. It's actually pocketable if you have a very big pocket. I could fit it in some of my trouser pockets. However, you won't have any trouble carrying this around, say, in your bag or whatever, because it doesn't take up much space at all considering how thin it is. And speaking of how thin it is, it is incredibly thin. When you flip it open, it's only about half a centimeter thick. And what's mind-blowing is, given how thin it is, it actually has a very decent keystroke travel. And I will most definitely say conclusively that the keystroke travel is much better than the new MacBook. Another thing about the Microsoft Universal Foldable Keyboard is, gosh, that's a long name. You might not notice at first glance, but the size of the key set is actually almost as big as a full-sized keyboard. Discount the numpad, even the caps lock button has a LED indicator. Now the only weird thing about the layout of this keyboard is that colossal gap between the two halves of the keyboard. And trust me, it takes a lot of getting used to. And also you have to deal with the fact that your spacebar is split in half, or you can see it that you have two spacebars depending on how optimistic you are or not. Now this is Bluetooth and you can pair it to up to two devices at any one time and you can toggle between those two devices by using these two dedicated buttons up here, one for each device. And this keyboard is not Brancis, it works with Windows, Android and iOS. There's an OS toggle button here for you to toggle between the three operating systems to optimize the key set for each operating system. Battery life is also stunningly good. I've had it for about a year now with moderate use and I've only had to charge it once. It charges through a micro USB port on the side of the keyboard so compatibility shouldn't be an issue. Now if I were to complain something about this keyboard, it would be the lack of function keys. It does not have the F1 to F12 keys that you'd find on most keyboards and neither does it have the home or end key. This little accessory is a bit on the pricey side however because it retails for 5 cents less than $100. In fact, one of my friends actually recently bought a Razer mechanical keyboard for a little less than that. So that is pretty much it about the Microsoft Universal Foldable Keyboard. Let me know in the poll or the comment section below if you would even consider paying $100 for a Bluetooth keyboard like this. Let me know in the comment section below as well if you think there's anything cool that I should definitely feature on Check This Out. So that's pretty much it for today everybody, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.